In this video, we're gonna go over the specs of the new Rock R3 Pro. Let's dive down deep into it. Hey guys, so right here in my hand, I'm holding the new Rock R3 Pro, and I wanna cover all the detailed specs and information that makes it so special, and the things that you need to know, so that way you can talk to somebody else about it, and as well as you know all the information yourself. So I'm gonna convey a lot of the knowledge that I have in, in getting the system together and sending out to you guys. And I hope that's gonna help you both understand what it is that you have, what's so special about it. And when you go into a boardroom or a meeting, you're able to pitch this product and get more jobs using this equipment. So let's jump right into it. So this is the Rock R3 Pro, and this is a aerial drone LiDAR mapping solution. It's also a SLAM handheld GPS denied mapping solution and it's also a mobile mapping solution. It's all three of those in one. And I'm gonna go through the components that you're seeing here in front of me, and we're gonna go one by one, and you'll understand why we chose that component and what makes it so special, and then how we tie it all together with our Rock desktop software. So let's jump right into that. So first thing first, right here on the left-hand side, we have this beautiful yellow capped Hisai Pandar XT32 laser scanner. So this is a LiDAR scanner here on the front, and this is the Hisai Pandar XT32. It does 640,000 laser pulses every second comes out of this thing. And it does dual returns, so two returns. So that's a total of 1.28 million measurements that it can make every second. That's a lot, that's awesome. It has 32 lasers in here. So there's 32 beams and they have about a, I believe it's like, 15 degrees by 15 degree field of view, so like 30 degree field of view here. And it can has a max range of 120 meters at 60% reflectivity. So that means if you're looking at something really black, has really low reflectivity, absorbs a lot of light, it's not very bright, that's not going to see that well at 120 meters. But if you're looking at something very bright white, you're in the desert and it's something you have very bright or snow, this is going to reflect and see that data very well at that range. Now we recommend to fly it at around 60 meters AGL. That's for like best results. And you're gonna get good vegetation penetration at that altitude as well. So that's gonna be really ideal. Now, what's so special about this? We've tested a lot of different LiDAR scanners and before we had the R2A, which has the, the LiveOx Avia and the R360 actually has the exact same scanner as this one. So what we found is that the action of this is about 0.5 centimeters on the laser scanner. Very impressive. And that accuracy is unmatched. So yes, you can go and get a $100,000, $200,000 scanner, and yeah, those will get slightly more accurate, but then you start losing accuracy in other, other locations of the data. We'll talk about that soon. And at the end of the day though, it's kind of a wash. So what we're finding is that this sensor, this sensor actually gets amazing data at the altitudes that you fly at for drones. So 60 meters, 70 meters even, you're still getting incredibly good data. Now, Hisai makes another scanner, the M2X, and does triple returns, and they say this is for mapping. We've used it. We actually have seen fuzzier data coming out of that than this one. So that's why we chose to go with this scanner, so that way you don't have to think about it. We chose the best one for you, because we've used them all, and we're the ones that have all that experience. We said, you know what? This is the one to go with, and that's why it's on the R3 Pro. Now, so that's the Hisai. Now let's talk about the middle section here. Now this is where inside of the midsection, we have all of our computer. We also have our GPS, GNSS module, and the IMU, so the whole navigation system, the POSE system, if you will. So the INS is getting a pitch and roll accuracy, so pitch and roll of 0 0.006 degrees. So that's incredibly accurate. And the heading, so this direction here, this is at 0 0.03 degrees. So this is one of the highest end INS systems that you're gonna find in any of this hardware. And that's kind of one of the secret sauces that gets such good data that comes out of here. Uh, and right next to that, we have a triple band, all constellation GNSS receiver. So you have L1, L2, L5, GPS, Baidu, uh, Galileo, GLONASS. Um, and that's actually the exact same receiver that's in our rock base stations. So. We've had great experience with these rock base network that we've launched, and that's the same unit you're gonna find in here. Uh, right here is where all the data is stored. This is the 256 gigabyte Samsung USB. Awesome, honestly, I've flown for like a month and 
I haven't even filled it up a single time. I still have all the data on it from the first few flights I've done. It's been amazing. Uh, and then we have a simple one button operation. Click it, you can turn it on, click and hold, and you can start recording data. We have some indicator light here, really nice. And coming around to the back side, we have a detachable 26 megapixel camera. So let me zoom in on that. You can actually see this, you can actually detach this camera. And the reason you can do that is because you can take this and mount it to our SLAM handheld system. So this 26 meg megapixel camera is quite impressive actually. So I've been comparing it to the Mavic 3 Enterprise as well as our Sony A5100, Sony A6000. And I've been getting better data coming out of this little thing that weighs like nothing than those heavy cameras. So it's pretty darn impressive. I've been, I've been shocked by it. In the future, we will be releasing higher megapixel cameras, but right now this one is better than what we had on the R2A and the R360 and it's crushing it and it's removable and you could do more with the system as a whole. Now, tying all this data together, the LiDAR system, the camera, the INS, IMU, and GNSS, we have Rock Desktop. So Rock Desktop takes all those datas as well as the base station data, combines it and generates an accurate trajectory and then produces a colorized, calibrated LiDAR point cloud. Now that software, you can use it out in the field, you can use it in your office, you can then sync your results directly with the Rock Cloud, or you can use the LAS LAZ file directly offline. So you can actually operate this whole system offline and just get your calibrated colorized point cloud out in the field and check on that data quality and accuracy. And that's really, really important to do. Now, we also have the Rock Pilot app, which whenever you use this system with the DJI M300 and soon the M350, we, you're able to actually fly the whole mission plan and see the LiDAR data in real time, and it'll fly, take off, do the calibration, and land. Now, I must say that if you're watching this video and it's not out yet, that's because DJI released the new SDK when they released the DJI M350. It threw a wrench right in the system. So they just released a brand new SDK as soon as they released it, and we had to update everything. It's been a big pain in the butt, but you know, we're working on it, it's almost out. Um, now, let me show you the other components that come along with this in the travel case, which I have right here. And so inside this case is where the R3 goes. It has a protective cover right there for the LiDAR. So that goes on the LiDAR there. And then we also have caps that cover all the different components and ports. This is the lever arm, which let me show you this. So this right here is the lever arm that goes onto the top of the LiDAR. And then this, zoom in on that, is the sky port adapter that connects to the DJI drone. And then on this side, we're able to connect in the GPS, which is right here. So you can see that. And I'll connect right onto this. So it's all one unit. It's really easy. You just screw them on and you got your GPS and you got the system connected to the drone. Um, it grabs power from the drone and it makes it very simple to use and operate. Now, that being said, we have a new universal mount. I currently have it attached to some other stuff here, but this is the new, let me show you like this, the new universal mount. And so it's already attached to another device here. But this allows you to attach your M, your R3 to any other drone. And so right now I have it gone attached to a dovetail, but it goes to the toad in the hole from FreeFly and also the smart dovetail from FreeFly drones. It's the same hole pattern. So anything that takes that hole pattern is gonna be able to hold it. Now, one thing I didn't mention that's really important, actually I can't believe I didn't mention this already, is the weight. This is only a little over 1.2 kilograms. I believe it's 1.26. Uh, kilograms, um, no, 1.206, I think, actually. So it's just about 1.2 kilograms, and that is only 2.6 pounds, guys. So this thing is ultra lightweight, and that is going to get you better flight time. And so you can get better flight time with better accuracy at a lighter weight. It's awesome. If you were to compare this to the R2A, they're about the same weight. So the R2A was already lightweight. Then we released the R360. This was significantly heavier, and now we have a more accurate system that weighs the same as the R2A. It's awesome, and I'm really excited about that. So that lightweight actually enables us to work on the, the FreeFly Astro drone now, and a bunch of other drones that were able to carry the lighter R2A, but couldn't carry the R360. So that is 
the new Rock R3, and you're able to see that data in the field using the Rock desktop. We have an awesome LiDAR scanner. We've evaluated all of them, and this is the one that really stands out. That's why we chose it. The IMU is one of the highest end systems you're gonna find in anything of this, this anywhere near this price range. So that 0 0.006 and that 0 0.03, very high end numbers for an INS for this type of system. And that 26 megapixel camera, it just makes beautiful photos. Oh, it also, it colorizes the LiDAR data and it does ortho photos. So you can actually take those into Pix4D and drone deploy and make an ortho mosaic. And soon we're gonna have rock photogrammetry. Really excited about that one. And so you'll be able to fly LiDAR and generate an ortho mosaic and get that 3D point cloud all in one. So now that's gonna be, the, that's the specs of the new Rock R3. I wanna tell you guys something here before I jump off. Now all of these innovations, this is where we're pushing on the forefront. So we're pushing on the forefront of SLAM. We're pushing on the forefront of colorization, how to colorize. So ray tracing algorithms is what we're using today. We're on the forefront of being able to get highly accurate data. So like we just did two examples and I'll, you can see the other video on Indiana drones where we did, I did 172, I think, GCPs on a runway. And then I also did another data set where I did 99 uh, check shots. And we got a centimeter accurate on both of those. So we're putting up numbers that you're not seeing in this industry anywhere other than the $200,000, $300,000 systems. So that's what's so impressive about this. We're able to deliver a highly accurate system at a price point that is not really attainable. And the thing is, our software is where we're pushing on the future. So this system is gonna be compatible with all these future developments we're working on. And that's really what I'm most excited about is that today it works really well. Tomorrow it's gonna work even better. And hopefully the month after that it's gonna work even better. Anyways guys, there's a lot more going on, but I hope that gives you some knowledge that you can you know, regurgitate into a boardroom when you're talking about the system. You now understand a little bit more about it and our thought process and how we made it. Uh, and that way you guys can use the system because at the end of the day, this is just a hammer, it's just a tool, and you need to go out there and get data and sell it to a client or a customer. So I hope you're able to learn a little bit more and then watching the accuracy videos, seeing some more of the, how the data works, all of it will come together for you and you're able to present this and win more business using the Rock hardware. Awesome guys, hope you guys liked the video. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.